immune system protects body against infections caused by outside invaders like bacteria viruses fungi and toxins the two main parts of immune system work together the innate immune system you are born with this the adaptive immune system develops when body is exposed to microbes or chemicals released by microbes the parts of immune system are described in detail in coming slides white blood cells are key players in immune system made in bone marrow and are part of lymphatic system white blood cells move throughout blood and body tissues looking for foreign invaders as bacteria viruses parasites and fungi white blood cells include lymphocytes such as b cells t cells natural killer cells and many other types of immune cells the acquired immune system with the help from innate system makes special proteins called antibodies to protect body from a specific invader antibodies are developed by cells called b lymphocytes after body has been exposed to the invader it can take several days for antibodies to form but after the first exposure the immune system will recognize the invader and defend against it antibodies help the body to fight microbes or toxins they produce they do this by recognizing substances called antigens on the surface of microbe or in chemicals they produce antibodies mark microbe or toxin as being foreign for destruction there are many cells proteins and chemicals involved in this attack complement system is front line of defense for immune system it cleans up damaged cells helps your body heal after an injury or infection and destroys microscopic organisms like bacteria that make you sick lymphatic system is network of delicate tubes throughout body made up of lymph nodes which trap microbes lymph vessels carry lymph colorless fluid that bathes body's tissues and contains infection fighting white blood cells functions of lymphatic system it manages fluid levels in body deals with cancer cells reacts to bacteria deals with cell products that otherwise would result in disease or disorders absorb some of fats in our diet from intestine spleen is a blood filtering organ that removes microbes and destroys old or damaged red blood cells it also makes disease fighting components of the immune system including antibodies and lymphocytes bone marrow is spongy tissue found inside bones it produces red blood cells which our bodies need to carry oxygen the white blood cells we use to fight infection and the platelets we need to help our blood clot thymus filters and monitors blood content it produces the white blood cells called t lymphocytes pears patches lymphoid tissue in the small intestine tonsils two oval masses in throat adenoids two glands located at back of nasal passage the innate immune system is inherited it is active from moment child is born when this system recognizes an invader the cells of this immune system surround and cover the invader and invader is killed inside phagocytes innate system is made up of the skin eyes cornea and mucous membranes that lines respiratory gastrointestinal and genito urinary tracts these all create physical barriers to help protect your body 
they protect against harmful germs parasites such as worms or cells such as cancer body's other defenses against microbes are skin a waterproof barrier that secretes oil with bacteria killing property mucus in the lungs traps foreign particles and small hairs cilia wave mucus upwards so it can be coughed out in digestive tract mucus lining contains antibodies and acid in stomach can kill most microbes other defenses include body fluids like skin oil saliva and tears contain antibacterial enzymes that help reduce risk of infection the constant flushing of the urinary tract and the bowel also helps